It's called the Bank Cock. <laughs> was a grand upstanding Bantam Cock, so brisk and stiff and spry, with a springy step and a jaunty plume, and his back blinking eye. With his little back blinking eye, he had. I took him to the coop and I introduced him to my seventeen wide eyed hens. He took and he took as a hero tops and he pouted and wasted him again. And he yoked and he took them all again, he did. The piece of me ducks and geese he rudely did intrude with glazed eyes and open mouths they bore it all with fortitude and a little bit of gratitude they did he jumped my giggling guinea fowl and he forced his attentions upon my twenty hysterical turkeys and a visiting migrant swan <laughs> and the bantam thundered on, he did. <laughs> he ravished my fantail pigeons and my lily white columbines and while I was locking up the budgery car he jumped me parrot from behind <laughs> She was sitting on my shoulder at the time she was <laughs> And all of a sudden, with a gasp and a gulp, he clapped his hands to his head, fell flat on his back with his toes in the air. My bottom cock lay dead, and the vultures circled overhead. They did. What a noble cock, what a way to live and to die. I was digging him a grave to save his bones from the hungry buzzards in the sky. When the bantam opened a sly little eye, he gave me a grin and a terrible wink, the way that rapists do. <laughs> He said, you see them big daft buggers up there? They'll be down in a minute or two. They'll be down in a minute.